Okay, the first thing I like to do when I have these state test questions is read them and make sure I understand what it's asking. The expression 3x squared minus 33x minus 180. First off, let me ask you, what is that expression? It is a quadratic equation. Say it. I mean expression. Quadratic. All right. Can be factored into this form where a, b, and c are constants. So a, b, and c have to be a number. To reveal the zeros of the function defined by the expression. What are the zeros of the function defined by this expression right here? And so for us to find the zeros, another word for zeros is what? Say solutions. Zeros means solutions. Okay, which also means what? X intercepts. So when they ask for zeros, Hunter, they're asking for the X intercepts or the solutions. Right, Chester? Hunter, sit up, put a pencil in your hand and start writing. And so what we need to do is we need to take the equation they gave us, I mean the expression they gave us, 3X squared minus 33X minus 180, and we need to factor this. But first we're going to set it equal to zero. Now, why did I set it equal zero? Because that tell, once I set it equal to zero, I'm looking for the zeros or the x-intercepts or the solutions. Does that make sense? When they asked for the zeros, that means set it equal to what? Say zero. Okay, so now let's solve it. What do I do first to solve it? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for what number goes into all three of these. 3 does. So I'm going to factor a 3 out, which means I write the 3 down, John, and then I put a parenthesis, and I write equals 0, right? Now, when you factor 3 out, that means you're dividing each term by 3. Say it. Okay, and so what you're left with is x squared minus 11x minus 60, right? And then you got to see if what's inside the parentheses will factor, right? So we need to see, will x squared minus 11x minus 60 factor? Now we know it does because they told us in the problem it does, didn't they? So I need to figure out what are my factors of 60 right here. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10, 7, 8, 9, and then we're back at 10. Now, i got to figure out which of these terms right here, I have to figure out which of these terms also adds to be negative 11. Okay? Well, 1 and 60 won't add to be negative 11, will it? Because 60 minus 1 is 59. 30 minus 2 won't work. 20 minus 3 gives us 17, not 11. But now 15 minus 4 will do it, won't it? Yes. Well, negative 15 plus 4, right? And so I'm going to continue writing my problem. It's three parentheses, but I'm going to break it into two parentheses, aren't I? Equals 0. And what goes in my parentheses? X and X. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's minus. Here's the thing is if you do plus 15... Minus 4, that's going to give you positive 11, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But we don't want positive 11. We want what? Negative. So your 15 is going to have to be negative, and your 4 is going to have to be what? Positive. And so there it is. I factored it completely. But I have not calculated the zeros yet, have I? Okay. So I need to set each piece equal to 0. So I'm going to set this 3 equal to 0, this x minus 15 equal to 0, and this x plus 4 equal to 0. So when I set 3 equal to 0, is that a true statement? No. So there's no answer there. Now let's set x minus 15 equal to 0. And solve. And so you add 15 on both sides. And so what do you get? 15. x equals 15. So there's one solution. There's one 0. There's one x-intercept. And then let's take the other one, x plus 4, and set it equal to 0. Subtract 4 on both sides, and so x equals what? And so those are your two solutions. Did you hear me? Those are your what? Two solutions. 
We got 15 and negative 4. So now let's look at the question. It says in the question, select all that apply. So there's not just one answer. Okay, what were our answers? 15 and what? And so I would pick 15 and I would pick negative 4. And so in the clicker, the way you would answer this is you would put D. H. You wouldn't put a comma or anything in between. You just put the letters D H and press enter. What we put, I guess, 